Welcome back and take a look at these lights. A small time artisan from Larimer County is creating these one of a kind pieces from stone found mostly in our backyards. Now, as 7 News photojournalist Major King explains, it's something you are unlikely to see anywhere else. I don't know. There's so many things you can do with rocks. On a windswept road cut on the side of the interstate, they've been around for millions and millions of years. Chuck Fink looks and sees what others do not. It's a piece of granite. A pretty nondescript rock to most people. Okay, we're ready to go. Until you take an 18 inch diamond saw blade to it. So when you cut rocks, it really changes our appearance. A lot of times, it ends up something quite unexpected. And the unexpected is what you'll find in the world that is Fink's workshop near Wellington, like this Turantella agate. Well, the shells collected on the bottom and silica filled in. Or this spaceship, this reactor, or perhaps this boat. This one they found right, I found it in the cornfield. The 61 year old Pennsylvania native has been fauceting stone for a decade. If you think it's easy, no, there's nothing easy about it. It's rocks, hard rocks. One of the hardest of all rocks is also the most common mineral on Earth. Silicon dioxide, quartz to you and me, comes in a variety of shapes and colors. Fink has developed a specialty in crafting a translucent version of what he calls snow quartz. It starts with cutting a flat top and bottom. Ooh, it looks pretty good. Then making a two-inch hole with a drill press. Then chipping out what's left. Should be wearing goggles, but I can close my eyes. From there, you grind down the sharp edges. Quartz dust will scratch glass easily. And finally, several stages of polishing. Before arriving at this, or this, or perhaps these. Well, I started experimenting with the rocks, but then I started making objects. I enjoy that more, because it's something different every time. You wish there was a way that people would, would pay you really for what they're worth. What's a rock from Colorado worth? People often draw artistic expression from a place deep within. And for Chuck Fink, losing his wife, Teresa, to Hodgkin's disease was his catalyst. Oh, I think about it. I think about all the blessings we got. I mean, the rocks are a big part of mine. <laughs> From darkness, a most unusual light. And no, it didn't happen by chance. So you're a man of faith? From a life so temporary, a more lasting sense of permanence. All this will be gone, except for the rocks. Years from now, nobody will know me. But your work will still be there. Well, they'll wonder, who made this rock? Gorgeous work. Well, his work is even more remarkable when you consider he suffers from diabetes and other disabilities. You can see him and his work tonight through Sunday at the Fort Collins Rock Hounds 51st Annual Gem and Mineral Show. It's at The Ranch, located off I-25 and Crossroads Boulevard in Loveland. And we have a link to more information, including tickets, at thedenverchannel.com. Just click on that big red TV button.